Sony made the mistake of making the Xperia 1 Mark V way too good. I mean, it shoots 4K video, you can use it as a monitor and recorder. It's a great phone, but is it actually better than the iPhone 14 Pro? What do we think? Do we think the Xperia 1 Mark V footage looked better or the iPhone 14 Pro footage looked better? Now mind you, nothing was color graded at all. I wanted to show you what each phone was able to produce without any manipulation in post. Personally, right out the gate, I think the Xperia 1 Mark V looked a little bit better, looked more natural and more aligned with my other Sony Alpha cameras. Where the iPhone footage still looked good, but there were some moments where it looked like phone footage. We'll talk more about that later, but both phones shot some pretty good stuff and there are moments where both phones kind of sucked. I mean, it's phone footage, what do you expect? All right, so now let's talk about each phone. Well, first let's talk about the lenses. With the iPhone, we all know the iPhone, you have the 0.5X camera, the 1X camera, the 2X camera, and the 3X camera. With the Xperia 1 Mark V, you have the 16 millimeter wide lens, the 24 millimeter lens, which uses the XMR-T sensor, and then you have the 85 to 125 millimeter zoom lens. I think the iPhone has the better lens options. I mean, it's easier to understand, 0.5x, 1x, 2x, 3x, where with the Xperia 1 Mark V, like the 16 millimeter wide lens is great, the 24 millimeter lens is awesome, but there's a gap, a weird gap between the 24 millimeter lens and the 85 to 125 zoom lens. Like, there's nothing to choose between those focal lengths, which I don't know why. Like, if there was like a uh, 50 millimeter prime lens instead of the zoom lens, like, I would absolutely prefer that. Regardless, both phones have different lens options to choose from, it's just that the iPhone has better lens options. Although I will say I do love the 24 millimeter lens on the Xperia 1 Mark V the best. It just looks so sharp, so good, just so sharp and so good. All right, we're gonna do a bokeh test with the Xperia 1 Mark V. I'm using the 24 millimeter wide lens and I'm using the tap to focus feature to focus on uh, this stone in the foreground. I'm gonna tap on the church behind. Oh yeah, it looks pretty smooth. Back to the foreground, background, and foreground. Yeah, it looks cool. All right, we're doing a bokeh test with the iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, we are focusing on the foreground, which is this stone over here. We're tapping on the foreground to focus on that. Then we're gonna tap on the church behind to focus on the background. It took a little bit, but now it's focused. Back to the foreground, just taking a little bit. And back to the church, very cool. And now we're using cinematic mode with the iPhone 14 Pro and the 1X camera. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, although there are some parts of this image that looks kind of too fake, not gonna lie. So in terms of video quality and overall realness between these two smartphones, I think the Xperia shoots better video because it looks a little more natural. Although the colors shot with the iPhone 14 Pro really popped. Like nine times out of 10, the video shot with the iPhone looked incredible and ready to post on social media right then and there. In terms of dynamic range, both phones do a great job. The iPhone 14 Pro almost does a too good of a job uh, to the point where it looks kind of fake. I mean, most times it looks fantastic and I can just post videos straight to Reels or TikTok, but sometimes I don't wanna see all the details and the highlights and shadows all the time. Like there are times where that's necessary and there are times where footage just needs to look more natural. And I think the Xperia 1 Mark V does a better job. And because it also shoots s cinetone video, it just makes it a lot easier for me to match footage shot with the Xperia 1 Mark V with my other Sony cameras. And to me, that is very, very important. Now the huge advantage when filming with an iPhone is that you can use Apple Pro Res. And that is amazing to edit with, where with the Xperia 1 Mark V, doesn't, just shoots H.264, H.265, nothing special. But Apple ProRes, like that's, that's pretty cool. It will take up a bunch of space on your phone, keep that in mind, but 
Apple ProRes. Both phones can film 4K video up to 120 frames per second, blah, blah, blah. But as far as stabilization goes, they're both pretty good. All right, now we're doing a stabilization test with the iPhone 14 Pro. We're using the 0.5X camera and we're not using action mode. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's try this again with action mode turned on. Three, two, one, and here we go. I mean, on my screen, it still looks a little shaky, but I'm sure the computational the computations are doing its job in the phone. All right, stabilization test with Xperia 1 Mark V with standard stabilization turned on. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, stabilization test in the Xperia 1 Mark V with stabilization set to high on the 16 millimeter wide. Here we go. All right, so now we're vlogging with the iPhone 14 Pro with the 0.5X camera, and I kind of wanted to do a audio test with each phone to see which phone sounds better. Now I'm gonna flip the phone around just so you can try to hear my audio from behind the camera. It's a nice day in Texas. Very humid though, mosquitoes all around. And now we're vlogging with the Xperia 1 Mark V with a 16 millimeter wide lens. Now what's great about this phone is the voice priority rear mic, meaning that it's going to prioritize the subject's voice compared to the background. So hopefully the audio sounds good, but when I flip it around, uh, the mic is not gonna be able to capture my voice as clearly, but you do have the option to capture audio all around. All right, so now I've changed the microphone to capture audio from all around. Uh, this is what the audio sounds like. And yeah, we'll, we'll find out which sounds better. If I had to pick one winner, I'd probably give it to the Xperia 1 Mark V because of that voice priority rear mic. And the last thing that I wanna compare is the user interface. The iPhone is just the easier phone to use. I mean, the layout is easy to understand. It's easy to switch to different lenses, change the frame rates. I mean, it's an iPhone. It's gonna be easy to use. Where with the Xperia 1 Mark V, there is a bit of a learning curve. Even if you own Sony cameras, like you kind of have to figure out where certain settings are, swiping to this option, to that option. There is a learning curve. Like I've been using this phone for about a month and I still have to fiddle around through some other stuff. And it kind of takes a little longer to make sure that my settings are set right before I film, where with the iPhone, phone is just it's ready to go <laughs> although if you are using the pro photo app and you use the video feature in that app you could just simply use the basic mode and it'll take care of everything for you like the iPhone but at the same time if I have the ability to change my ISO my white balance use grid lines focus speaking all that stuff then yeah the Xperia 1 Mark V is gonna feel more like a professional camera but as far as which phone is the easiest to use it's definitely definitely the iPhone all right, so which phone is the better phone to film videos with? That's a little hard because it depends on what you want to achieve filming with these phones. Like if you want the easiest device possible to film great looking footage and post it straight to TikTok or Reels or YouTube, then it's definitely gonna be the iPhone. If you want more control to the camera settings, you wanna be able to use as Cinetone and match the footage with the Xperia 1 Mark V with your other Sony cameras, then of course, the Xperia 1 Mark V is gonna be the better phone. It's definitely not the easiest to use and sometimes this phone kinda of gets hot and when it does, the, the interface of the apps don't really respond. And then transferring the files from the phone to the computer, especially if you have a Mac, is a little complicated. I just use Dropbox, it's just easier that way. With the iPhone, it's just pleasant to use all around, airdrop videos and photos straight to your Mac, like done deal. But to wrap everything up and give you my final thoughts, the Xperia 1 Mark V is the better phone to film with, especially the fact that I can film in as Cinetone, match the footage with my other Sony cameras, and use this phone as a monitor and recorder. Like, of course it's gonna be the better phone for video. But the iPhone is the better phone overall, especially as a daily driver. I mean, come on, you can film great video, take great photos, you can post it straight to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever, use this for business, for personal life, like it is my daily driver. But if I had to pick one phone out of the two, it would definitely be the iPhone. Like I would miss all the features, the video features that the Xperia 1 Mark V offers. It's just that the iPhone just makes my life easier. But what's pretty killer is that I get the best of both worlds. Hey!